Good morning, Hawkinson Community Church. I'm going to read to you this morning from Galatians 6, verses 1 through 10. Brothers and sisters, if someone is overtaken in any wrongdoing, you who are spiritual restore such a person with a gentle spirit, watching out for yourselves so that you also won't be tempted. Carry one another's burdens. In this way, you will fulfill the law of Christ. For if anyone considers himself to be something when he is nothing, he deceives himself. Let each person examine his own work, and then he can take pride in himself alone and not compare himself with someone else. For each person will have to carry his own load. Let the one who has taught the word share in all his good things with the teacher. Do not be deceived. God is not mocked. For whatever a person sows, he will also reap. Because the one who sows to his flesh will reap destruction in the flesh, but the one who sows to the Spirit will reap eternal life from the Spirit. Let us not get tired of doing good, for we will reap at the proper time if we don't give up. Therefore, as we have opportunity, let us work for the good of all, especially those who belong to the household of faith. You know, one of the most valuable resources we have is our time. And how we prioritize things in our life, that can affect how we spend our time. What do you think the calling for us is here in this passage? Verse 2 says, carry one another's burdens. In this way, you will fulfill the law of Christ. We're really called to be there for each other. Uh, it's been a difficult year, but we're starting a new one. It's in this time that we can actually think about how we prioritize things, think about what God wants to do in our life, and make sure that we spend our time doing the things that really matter. In verses 9 and 10, it says, Let us not get tired of doing good, for we will reap at the proper time if we don't give up. Therefore, as we have opportunity, let us work for the good of all, especially for those who belong to the household of faith. We're called to love God and to love each other. This starts with our family. It extends to our church body and then out to those who don't know God. Let's pray. Dear God, I just pray in this year uh, that you would help us to take the time to spend with you and think about the things that really matter in life. And then help us to prioritize those things, Lord. Help us to invest in each other and in you. I ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Hope you guys have a wonderful morning.